Looking around the globe, you'd be forgiven for thinking we're living in a world gone half mad. The global pandemic, raging forest fires and police brutality highlighting systemic racism going back 400 years. Masked populations of people who are fearful, anxious and under curfew. As our climate collapses around us, how many more species must die before we wake up to the fundamental truth that we are each connected, you, me and the planet. We need each other to thrive. But what about the legacy we're leaving our children and grandchildren? What story are we telling them about what it means to be a human being? Increasing numbers of our children are facing mental health issues. The global pandemic and lockdown has exacerbated the challenges of an already broken system. We've inherited an outdated education system based on old paradigm thinking. We focused on telling children what to think instead of how to think. As our schools begin to open globally, we are in a moment of transition. We have a window where we can truly place the developmental needs of our children first. But what are the capacities we need as parents and educators to meet the evolutionary edge of these times and shift the learning paradigm into one that actually mobilizes real change. My name is Priya Matani and I'm the founder of the School of Sophia and the creator and organizer of Tell Me A Story. Together we can inspire an education revolution worthy of the more beautiful world our hearts long to inhabit. Just like the late Sir Ken Robinson, we believe not just in a creative education for our children, but that we must champion the forces of creativity to mobilize societal and cultural change. Every human being is creative. We are creative all the time. We don't know it, we forget it, but in everything we do, in our language, our words, the clothes we wear, the gestures we make, and I think that is a constant part of human life that we are unconscious of. And the point what we're working is to make it conscious, aware, and especially in the classroom. If you want to be a part of this change, to leave a legacy worthy of future generations, if you are longing to feel more whole and vibrant in your own life, if you are craving deeper connections with others, we're inviting you to our online event, Tell Me A Story, as we reimagine education through storytelling, creativity, and the art of the imagination. Have we designed our schools, both our school for our very little children as they grow older, the secondary schools, have we designed our universities to care for all living things? In the Lakota way of prayer, which has by now become almost a global saying, mini wachoni, they said, that has a lot of meaning, but a kind of shorthand is to say that water is life. Not only is water life, but water is also alive. We want to empower you to take the next best steps in your own life and community so that you feel better resourced and strengthened through your connections with others as we work together for the good of people and planet. If I could capture love's most secret potion of Cupid's arrows dipped in devotion, I would compose the sweetest poem and I would give it all to you. If I could enlist words oh so profound, an exquisite mixture of precious sound to paint the picture of a foolish clown. Over three and a half days, we will take an immersive experiential journey together with brilliant speakers, enchanting storytellers, and artistic activities to awaken your creative essence as you step into a greater version of yourself than you'd previously thought possible. Come join the education revolution and let's figure this out together. If you'd like to join us, just click on the button below and I'll see you in your inbox very soon.